Wildcats Mission Log. Entry 1. Jacob Milo speaking. We are in the middle of a war. A war mankind is not even aware of. For several months, I've been assembling a covert action team to fight the Daemonite threat. And our roster is nearly complete. Void has located our final member. But the Daemonites have interfered with our recruiting efforts before. I pray the team gets to them in time. Reno Bryce Computing. You are Reno Bryce. Who are you clowns? Mr. Bryce, you're an artist with a blade. Not only that, ha! I also happen to be a black belt. Get him! All agents, he's on the run. We must contain him in the building. Who are those guys? What do they want? And do I really want to stick around and find out? Step on it, Grifter. We may already be too late. Don't blow a fuse, Spartan. This Reno Bryce is causing us far too much trouble. It'll be worse trouble if we don't get to him in time, Zealot. What do those wackos want with me? This is getting weirder by the second. Wait! Stop him! Do not rely on that contraption, Grifter. Remember your training in the Caribum art of war. And just remember who saved your neck the last time we went up against these guys. Maul, come on! We're here! Just when I was getting comfortable. Whoa! They're everywhere! Hey, wait! We're the good guys! <gasps> Maul, they're Daemonites! No kidding! Too late. The Daemonites are after him. Hey, not to worry. We can handle that space trash. Oh, man. <gasps> They're Daemonites. Every one of them. You can't trust nobody these days. I'll take them. Get real, Zealot. You don't stand a chance without me. Just don't get in my way, Grifter. They're on the roof! And so you see, Mr. Bryce. There's nowhere you can hide from us. Now, Reno Bryce, prepare to become one of us. Not so fast, Daemonite. Come on. We're clearing out of here. Are you out of your mind? Maul, think you can handle that thing? It's just my size. I'm large and in charge. He shoots. He scores! It's not humanly possible. 
Who ever said we were human? Come on, we're clearing out of here. Hit it, Richter. They're getting away! Let them. I managed to tag our little friend, Mr. Bryce. Well, Void? Is he the one? Yes. He has the gift. Just who are you, lady? We call her Void. She's a living computer. I've seen every kind of computer on the planet, but nothing like that. She's not from this planet, Mr. Bryce. Uh-huh, sure. Now, do you mind telling me what's going on? Name's Jacob Marlowe. You're at the headquarters of my company, Halo Enterprises. I didn't know you were in the business of kidnapping. Try saving your scrawny hide, Jack. Whether you like it or not, Reno, you're in the middle of a war. A war as old as mankind. 10,000 years ago, while we were still scratching crude paintings on cave walls, two alien starships crashed here on Earth. One ship contained the last of the Daemonites, an evil race who once ruled the galaxy. The other ship contained a group of Carabin, noble warriors who defeated the Daemonites and brought peace to the galaxy. The Carabim managed to assimilate into the human race. Well, the Daemonites began their war of covert conquest. Over the centuries, the Carabim lost contact with their living computer, Void. I discovered her two years ago. She told me about the threat the Daemonites posed, both to our world and the entire universe. I immediately started assembling the Carabim and their descendants into a covert action team, the Wildcats. Cute story, Mr. Marlowe, but I have to get back to the real world now. Wait! Hey! Still haven't figured it out yet, huh? You are a descendant of the Carabim, who crashed here thousands of years ago. You are a genetic crossbreed, one of the gifted few with Carabim power. Get real, lady. I'm no space freak. You didn't turn king size like I did. He looks pretty sharp, huh, babe? Cool costume, too. I've had it with this! Hey, the boy's a regular war blade. You've made me into a freak! Watch it with those things. If you will calm yourself, you can control your power with your mind. Just leave me alone! I've had enough science fiction for one day! Stop him! You can't force someone to be a wildcat, Grifter. Stinking coward. He lacks our Carabim fighting instinct. You and I have been in this war for thousands of years, Zealot. It's too much for someone like him to comprehend. Yeah, when you guys came after Voodoo and me, we ran for cover too. Still, I'm not sure it was a good idea to let him walk out on us. Maybe he'll come back for his... Hey, what's this? Something he was carrying, but what? If I didn't know better, I'd say it was trying to get at you, Void. Let's get this thing to the tech lab on the double. I want to know what it is. Lord Hellsbont, Reno Bryce has left Halo Enterprises, and the teleportation receiver is still there. Jacob Marlowe is a bigger fool than I thought. Shall I instruct our operatives to apprehend him? Of course. I want Reno Bryce, and this time I shall have him. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I got away from those weirdos with my skin intact. My hands are okay again. At least that's something. Now I have to find some place to hide. Didn't you hear me the first time, Reno? 
There's nowhere for you to hide. You! Who are you? We are your masters. No! Get him! We Daemonites can't survive in your atmosphere. We need host bodies. What are you doing to me? It's a marker, Mr. Bryce. It creates a point of entry into your physical form. Don't be afraid, human. All I want is your body. Ah! We, we must, must return, return to Lord, Lord Hell's spot at once. It is some sort of transmitter, definitely of Daemonite design. I knew it! That creep Bryce planted a bug in our headquarters! He could have been working for the Daemonites all along. Sure. That's why he panicked and ran away. Hey, when you've been fighting the Daemonites as long as me and Zealot have, you don't trust anyone. I say we destroy the infernal thing. Before it's too late! No! This could be the key to Hellspont's latest plot, and I want to know what it is. Something's happened. What is it, Void? The Daemonites have Reno Bryce. Can you get a fix on him? Reno Bryce is there. They took him north. Way north. Hellspawn must be hiding there. We will have to go after him. And risk our necks for that two-timing coward? No way! Grifter, you know I can tell who's right and who's not, and Reno's okay. He has no taste for a fight. He'll never join us. Even if he won't, we can't just let Hellspunt get his claws on him. Void, port us up there, now. Are you out of your mind? I won't allow it. Come back here. I forbid you to do this. Who's the boss of this outfit anyway? <laughs> Void did it. I wish I was wearing thermal underwear. All right, cats. Let's get wild. I think you knocked a little too hard, Maul. This does not bode well. Where are they? Maybe they all went someplace warm. Does the phrase walking into a trap mean anything to you? Precisely, wild cats. <laughs> fell right into that one. Welcome, Wildcats. <laughs> this will be the end of the Caribbean resistance on Earth. That will never be more than a dream for you, Hellspont. I wish I could stay to savor this moment, but I must prepare to take possession of your computer void on board the Behemoth. How's he gonna get his claws on void? We may not be around long enough to find out. Oh, man. This is not going to be pleasant. Can't anyone break these cables? Even I can't. And I'm supposed to be the strongest. If I could just get to my sword. I still cannot establish this transmitter's purpose, Marlo. What's going on up there? I have lost contact with them. I fear they are in great danger. Release the prisoner. We'll store his body here with the others. Not well this girl's around! Ugh. Oh, I wish I was more of a fighter like the others. You will not escape me, Wildcat. Your carabin powers are no match for Daemonite might. Oh, yeah? Get ready to see just how special my power is. Carabins come unhandy! Uh, 
You... you freed me! Yeah, but the others need our help. Well, are you with us or not? I didn't ask to be part of this fight, but now I'm in it, and I'm gonna fight to win. All right! I knew you were one of us. Come on, Voodoo. It's blade time. There must be a way out of this. Yeah, before Hellspawn gets void. I'm sure it must have something to do with that device at our headquarters. Ah! I knew Reno Bryce was no good. That double crosser sold us out. Get ready to rock! War blades in the house! Sweetness! I told you he was a cool guy. Have you free in a slash, Spartan? How come that thing didn't get you? Perhaps because I'm a cyborg. Foul creature! Be gone! You're messing with my friends, maggots! We've got to stop Hellspawn before he gets Void. Void? How can he get to her? Thanks to some gizmo you snuck into our headquarters, pal. That's enough, Grifter. He saved our lives. Maybe. But I still don't trust him in a fight. He's all thumbs. You let me at those Daemonites and I'll show you just how well I can use these things, mister. Looks like we miss a behemoth. We've got to follow them somehow. Let's use that. Yeah. But does anybody have a pilot's license? Stand back and watch me work. You sure you can fly this thing? I flew everything from Cessnas to Choppers back in my smuggling days. This'll be a joyride. More or less. You said you were a cyborg, Spartan. But I thought you were an alien. I'm both. A Daemonite assassin squad nearly got me. Marlowe's tech people transferred his brain to a cybernetic body. It was the only way to save him. I have a fix on the behemoth. It's dead ahead. You'd better shrink down, Maul. Oh, but I hate being small. Intruder alert! It's the Wildcats! Will I never be rid of those accursed Cherubim? Never, Hellspawn. And that is a promise. Don't be so sure, Wildcats. I've already homed in on your headquarters with this teleporter. Thanks to the transmitter you were carrying, Jack. With it, I can send anything anywhere. Or bring anything to me. Starting with your precious void. It is a relayer for a teleportation device. What? We must destroy it at once. Void! Void! Now I can drain your supercomputer of its data. All the secrets of the Carabin's technology shall be mine. With such knowledge, we Daemonites will rule the universe once more. Of course, the data drain will destroy your computer in the process. Not while the Wildcats are here, Hellspawn. <laughs> ship apart unless you release Boy. You heard the man. Release her. Wretched freak. I will destroy you. When he gets bigger, he gets madder, Hellspont. No! You did it. Now do you believe I'm on your side? Yeah. And I believe that thing's gonna blow in about five seconds. Void, get us out of here, now! Let me give you some advice, Hellspont. When a 30-foot guy tells you to do something, you better do it! Let's go! Curse it, Wildcats! 
This is but a setback. I have waited thousands of years to conquer this planet. I can be patient a little longer. Where have you been? You had me nearly scared out of my wits. Sorry, sir. We had to rescue Void and destroy Hellspont's teleporter. You mean you actually took on Hellspont? After he nearly creamed us. And it looks like we've got a new member. Kid, I was wrong about you. Welcome to the Wildcats. Well, it's about time you guys had a real fighter on the team. Excuse me? But when it comes to battle, I'm the ultimate weapon. You want to arm wrestle for that title? All right, you two. Save it for the Daemonites. Today, we showed Hellspawn that we can hurt him because we're finally a team. So let's start acting like a team. Uh, Grifter. Thanks for giving me my name. Hey, anytime, Warblade. And thanks for saving our necks. From now on, we all stick together. Wildcats mission log. Entry 7. Void has detected a Daemonite energy field, heading straight for Infodyne's data processing division. The team's got to get there fast. We may have a hostage situation brewing. Of course, sir. We stake our reputation on confidentiality and total security. Okay, boys and girls, this is what you call a hostage situation. Nobody so much as Twitch, and you might live to tell your grandkids about this. Okay, baby. Come to Papa. Do you have an appointment? As a matter of fact, no. Hey! You can't Wait a minute. This date is encrypted. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, it's just garbage. Who has the access code? You have five seconds to reply. Four, three, two. The head of the division, Karen McKee, but she's at lunch. I hope for your sake she's having fast food. Intruders. Let's roar, Wildcats. The Wildcats. Gee, you don't miss a thing. Destroy them! Get those civilians out of here! It's okay. We are the good guys. Why do I find that hard to believe? I shall fry you with my volcanic powers! Cool down, you hothead. My hands... They're freezing. Ugh. Targeting enemy. Target this infernal machine. It's time for a little game we call Crush the Wildcats. I'm tired of your games, Attica. So am I. <laughs> Okay, cats, let's take them down. Harm! Get us out of here! Now! Entering vehicular mode. Hellspond will not be pleased. We must stop them. No. I want to know what they were after. Warblade, check out that computer. You got it, Spartan. What 
What's going on here? Who do you think you are, busting up my place? Karen. Calm down, lady. Those files are private property. It's okay, Karen. You can trust him. Hadrian? Hadrian? What are you doing here? Who are these people? It's complicated. Where have you been all this time? You never called me again. You just vanished. Listen, this place was attacked for information. Do you have any idea what it might have been? Infodyne's a big company. It could have been a hundred things. The files those creeps were after are totally locked off. Something about Project Alpha. Do you know anything about it? I have the codes, but I can't let you see any of that information. It's top secret. But I might take a look at it for you. But only you. Not them. The rest of you see what Void can dig up. I'll stay here, in case the Troika comes back. I don't know who needs protection worst, her or him. What do you think you're doing? I owe her an explanation, Zealot. I... I still care about her. Spartan, you're a cyborg now. Just tell her the truth and be done with it. You know, you've changed. I have? Yeah. Your taste in clothes has gotten really weird. Look, about Project Alpha. There's plenty of time for that. We've got some catching up to do. I have uncovered only one piece of data on Project Alpha, a photograph of its location. Let's see it, Void. That piece of junk's Project Alpha? You're putting us on. You'll have to do better than that, Void. Negative. If I probe any deeper into the computer network, it will trigger a security shutdown. Then Spartan better get some information out of that woman. If he can keep his mind on business. What was that name she called him? Hadrian? His Caribim name. From the old times. Let's just hope it reminds him of his duty. I kept waiting for you, Hadrian. I never even dated another man. What happened? I thought you loved me. Look, Karen. Things have changed. I'm in the middle of a war. A war most people don't even know about. What war? There is no war. Hadrian, nothing's changed between us. I still love you. Everything is different. I am different. Karen, please, just decode the files. <sighs> How are you different, Hadrian? That night I missed our engagement dinner. I was attacked by Daemonites. What are Daemonites? We'd be happy to arrange an introduction. Karen, get out of here! She's the one we need. Oh! Hadrian! Good Lord! What are you? Harm! Finish him! Troika! Move out! Karen! Troika got Karen, and the files on Project Alpha. We're on our way. If they've done anything to her, I'll tear them apart. I am picking up Daemonite energy patterns. They're coming from an abandoned propane plant in Sector 12. Then that's where they've taken her. You sure you're up for this, Spartan? Yeah, old buddy, you're a mess. I never felt better. So, the access code's in here, eh? All right! We've got it! <gasps> now Hellspont can have all the energy he needs to search for that gizmo. Troika to Mothership! We've got the goods! Take us home! Slow down, Spartan! We're almost there! We don't have time to slow down. Okay, let's get this show moving! Don't those wildcats ever give up? Never, Slag. Warblade, cut her loose. 
Have you free to slash, lady? Get the computer! Forget it! We've got what we need! Your tricks are no match for Karadim's skill. You shall suffer for your insolence, wildcat! Don't be so sure, sucker! This is it, Troika. No more games. Well, it's about time. So long, creeps! We'll never catch up to him now. And they have the files on Project Alpha. Terrific. We still don't know what this is all about. I've got duplicate files at Infodyne, but they're encoded. And those goons took my access key. Void can decode the files. This code is very complex. Your people did well, Ms. McKee. It will take some time to decode the files. Make it fast, Void. The Daemonites are already five jumps ahead of us. She's really a computer? Yes, the most advanced in the world. I told you it was complicated. Could I speak to you alone? What's the story with those two? She's an old flame, and I'm guessing he still carries a torch for her. Oh, great. That's just what we need. I see now why you didn't want to tell me. I thought about getting in touch, but I figured it was best to just let it be over. But it's not over. We both still feel the same way. Karen, look at me. I'm made of titanium alloy and 30 different synthetics. The only thing left of me is my mind. Was your real body preserved? Yes, but it is in stasis. Listen, Infodyne's medical division has made some new breakthroughs. They could revive your body and return your mind to it. What? Don't you see? You could become the man I once knew and loved again. My place is with the Wildcats. They need me, Karen. I need you too. Where is my body? What? My real body. Where is it? In the Halo Biotech facility. But why on earth would you- Karen says her people can revive it and return my mind to it. You can't. You're too valuable to the team. The team can get along without me. Then what about the world? The Daemonites won't go away even if you do. I am going to be whole again, Jacob. Do not try to stop me. Spartan? It's your body, and your life, and ultimately your decision. But the Wildcats need you. I have decoded the files on Project Alpha. We must summon the Wildcats at once. Spartan, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? I want my original body back, Dr. Forbes. B but that... that is impossible. Do not lie to me. Forbes, tomorrow, we've got a problem. Here! You can't do that! The biostasis pods are off limits! Let him have it, Zachary. It's his choice. This crude shack is merely the entrance to Project Alpha. The main lab is far below ground in solid bedrock. It is here that Infodyne technicians have constructed a thermal fusion generator. What the heck's a thermal fusion generator? A device that creates unlimited energy using thermal radiation. We've been trying to build one for years. Looks like Infodyne beat us to it. Why do the Daemonites want it so bad? That's the million dollar question. I am beginning to sense Daemonite presences near the location. You've got to stop them. Take the Merv. Wait, where's Spartan? We need him. He's gone, and I don't think he'll be back. He walked out on us? You're saying we're about to go into battle without our leader? 
I bet that girl has something to do with this. We can do nothing about it now. Our first priority is to stop the Daemonites. Let's go! First, the body must be revived. Then we have to download your memory. In the meantime, make yourself comfortable. I do not feel discomfort. I am a machine. But not for long. A Daemonite hover ship! We're too late! So what? We can take those goons. Then prepare to take on Hellspawn himself, Grifter. The Behemoth! You know, this may not be as easy as I thought. So much for getting the drop on the Daemonites. What the? What's it doing? It's digging its way right into the underground lab. Straight to the thermal fusion generator. will be fully energized. My warship will have the power of flight once more. Then, no nation on Earth will dare oppose me. Try opposing this, you sleaze bucket. It's over, Wildcats. You have lost. Carillion, finish them. More bad news. Void, is there any way we can get to the lab and shut that generator down? No, Zealot. The thermal radiation is too intense. We'd all get barbecued if we went down there. I'm going to take out that power cable. What are you, nuts? The behemoth will blow the Merv to bits! Help us now. Marlo, where's Spartan? Zealot, I'll look after Spartan. You get back to the team. Looks like we'll have to do this the hard way. That suits me just fine. <laughs> Let's roar, Wildcats! A girl can do anything if she puts her mind to it. Time for Maul to get tall and take a fall. We're ready to begin. In a few moments, you'll be flesh and blood again, darling. And we can be together, always. Let's do it. I'm going to shut you down now. Spartan, I can't let you do this. Please reconsider. The others are in danger. They need you. I have done more than my share. I have earned the right to live a quiet life with the woman I love. What kind of a life will it be if Hellspont wins? There'll be no place for love when the Daemonites rule the world. I am doing this for you, Karen. Hadrian, no! The Wildcats need you, Spartan. Now more than ever. I'm sorry, Karen. I will not let you down, sir. Feel the steel, Demo Creeps! <laughs> Didn't anyone teach you to 
drones how to fight? You'll have to do better than that, wild cat. Okay, how about a game of catch? <laughs> And I think it's time you went for a little dip. That's the last of their weapons. Terrific. But Hellspot nearly has the behemoth energized. It'll take a miracle to stop him now. Somebody ask for a miracle? Marlo filled me in on the situation. Keep those Daemonites busy. I'm going to shut down that generator. All right, let's grifterize them. Grifterize? Okay, so I just made it up. It's over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit in here, but I do not melt easily. What is happening? It's Spartan! He's destroyed the generator! They think they've defeated me, but nothing will stop me in my quest for the orb. Busted him. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Spartan. I did what I came to do. <laughs> I should not have even thought about getting my real body back. I endangered my friends. I endangered the mission. And you. It doesn't matter to me whether you're made of flesh or metal. What I love about you is inside, and that's still alive. It's over, Karen. I am a wildcat. I'll always remember you, Hadrian. For your sake, Karen, I hope you forget. Spartan to wildcats. I am coming home. Wildcats mission log. Entry 12. The warlike country of Yergovia has resumed hostilities against its peaceful neighbor, Lusitane. And since Halo Enterprise's European headquarters are in Lusitane, I've got several hundred employees in danger. The Lusitane troops are moving in to defend the town, Jacob. But I admit I'm worried. The Yurgovians may attack at any moment. Then for heaven's sakes, close up shop, Sergei. I'd rather lose money than lives. Very well. I'll commence the evacuation. Sergei, has the attack started? No. It's an earthquake. Twice you have fallen for the same ruse, Warblade. You know what they say, Zealot. The third time's a charm. <laughs> or is that three strikes and you're out? All right, take me down. I am unarmed. Don't mind if I do. How typically human are you? You will never be a great warrior until you overcome your human flaws. That does it. Bad move, buddy. And anger is the worst of your weaknesses. It distracts you, when all you should seek is my destruction. Lady, you're crazy! To defeat the Daemonites, we must show them no mercy! Save your Machu Act for Hellspawn! I've had enough of it! He 
must learn. Like you said, he's human. Well, mostly human. And we aren't put together as neatly as you. We care about things like compassion and mercy. A true warrior strives to correct his flaws, not commend them as virtues. In the real world, it ain't that simple, Zealot. Attention, Wildcats. Everyone to communications. And people, I mean now. Our regional headquarters in Lusitane was wiped out, along with the rest of the town. But where do we come in? Natural disasters aren't our style. I do not believe that this disaster was natural. What do you mean, not natural? No one can cause an earthquake. Can they? This area has been seismically stable for over 6,000 years. And they've only been hitting countries at war with Yugovia. My conclusion is that the Yugovians have developed a new super weapon, one which causes earthquakes. In the hands of the Daemonites, a weapon like that would be bad news for the entire world. And if they haven't heard about it yet, you can bet your gold-plated annuities they will. I've arranged for you to be hired as mercenaries. Wildcats, you're going to Yagovia. Sounds simple enough. Sure. All we gotta do is waltz into a war zone. I thought Void said this border crossing was safe. Even Void can't know everything. Yeah! Okay, team, scatter them. Drifter and Maul, watch our flanks. These Yergovians sure know how to make a tourist feel at home. Alright, let's play soldier. Game over. Whoever they are, they're mopping the floor with us. Then let me handle them. That's what you hired me for. Warmongering scum! Ha! You will wish you were civilians by the time I am through with you. Take away their weapons and they're nothing but cowards. Then perhaps you'd care to see what a real warrior can do. Lady, you're starting to get on my circuits. The Coda! It's not possible! I must stop her. Uh, Zealot, we're on a mission here, remember? She was using a cleft blade, Grifter. The weapon of the Coda. I know. I saw. Then you know what I must do. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. They're running away. I think we did it. That was just the welcoming committee. We'll soon get a full reception. Where's Zealot? My guess is, uh, she's gone to settle an old score. Grifter, what are you saying? That woman who attacked you? She was a coda. A coda? Zealot should have known better. We have a mission. Listen, Spartan. I've got to go after her. She could be heading into some serious trouble. Our first priority is to find that earthquake weapon. Zealot can take care of herself. The trail ends here. Or does it? May the light of the Coda crown us with glory. You can stop right there, Artemis. You dare show your face among us, Sister Zealot? You are now the Coda's prisoner of war. The Yugovians are looking for us. I could swat it down. Then they'd really know where we are. Let's move. We've got to locate that earthquake weapon. Wait a sec. Where's Grifter? 
Don't tell me he went after Zealot. Great! Now there's just four of us, against the whole army! I formed the Coda to fight the Daemonites, Artemis. How dare you turn them into soldiers for hire! Did you think we were your puppets to do with as you pleased? By selling our skills, we grow prosperous and powerful. You have succumbed to the worst human weakness of all. Greed. Not greed. Ambition, Sister Zealot. One day we will command those who hire us. The Coda will rule. This world won't have a future if the Daemonites win. Correction, Zealot. It is you who has no future. An incoming communication for you, Sister Artemis. It is urgent. The plan worked perfectly, Pike. In our guise as mercenaries, we've been able to prolong the war. And the Yergovians have finally completed the earthquake weapon. Its location is ten miles due east of your current position. Well, what do you know? Excellent. Then we shall prepare to complete our mission. Assemble the Coda. We must prepare to move out and take the weapon. Keep back, all of you. Now, you're gonna take me to Zealot, nice and easy, and no tricks. The only way you'll see your friend <laughs> is as my prisoner. Seize him, sisters! Perhaps you sisters would like to talk to these. Nice shot, but you won't get away with this. Lock him up with the traitor Zealot! We could use their computer to find the weapon's location. Then let's get wild. Voodoo, flank left. Warblade, hit the guards. Maul, keep an eye out for choppers. Take them out, team! Two men against one woman? No fair! You should have brought more men. Now let's find out where that weapon is. The Coda is preparing to move out and seize the weapon. But there's one problem. What kind of problem? According to their intelligence, the Wildcats are also in Yergovia. Those Carabim pests! I don't trust those Coda women to succeed. Especially with the wild cats around. I want you to handle this personally, Pike. I will not fail you, Lord Hellspont. Okay, so this wasn't one of my better rescues. Not like the time we first met, huh? You saved my life then. I am still in your debt. Look, we can't just hang around this dump. Your pals are working for the Daemonites. What? This is all my fault. Zealot, you can't blame yourself for everything. I created the Coda, and I should have stopped them long ago, when I had the chance. <laughs> you have turned the Coda into a band of mercenaries. I will not allow it. <laughs> Under my command, the Coda will become the most powerful weapon the world has ever seen. You can't do it. Your ridiculous code of honor won't let you. Leave this temple, all of you! You will regret this day, Zealot. I thought you said mercy was a human weakness. It is. And I'll never make that mistake again. I know you aren't gonna like this, Zealot, but deep down, I think you're just as human as the rest of us. Hurry. I can't access the main command net. See if you can bust in. What does it say? Ten seconds until termination. 
then we're in trouble. Hit the dirt! Let me guess. You didn't find the weapon's location. You win. So now what? We keep searching the area. Hurry! We must reach the weapon center before the Wildcats do! You ladies ain't going nowhere. Now, Artemis, it is time for our reckoning. I've waited a long time for this. Farewell, Sister Zealot! are our sworn enemies. How dare you do their bidding! Don't even think about it, ladies. You were my sister. You betrayed me! You betrayed our cause! Very well, sister. Finish it! I can't. Listen to me, all of you. I taught you how to fight, but I failed to teach you why. If the Daemonites win, you and every human on this planet will be slaves. The wealth you seek will mean nothing. You have the power to make a difference. The choice is up to you. You'd better go while you can. You did all you could, but it's not gonna happen. Let's beat it. This is just great. We've got to do all the work while Zealot and Grift are off playing games with the Coda. That's enough, Warblade. Griping won't help us find that weapon. Attention shoppers, today's blue light special is... Grifter, are you and Zealot okay? Better than okay, pal. We found out where that earthquake gizmo is. All right. I knew they wouldn't let us down. We're moving into position now, Lord Hellspont. But we've lost contact with the Coda. I must have that earthquake device. It will enable me to excavate the orb. I'll take it myself if I have to. Then do so. Once the orb's power is mine, Earth will only be a tiny stepping stone to the entire universe. No guards on the west wall. Looks like a piece of cake. What happened with the Coda? Let us concentrate on the task at hand. That bad, huh? Worse. The Coda's after whatever's in there, too. Then let's not waste any time. Wildcats, get ready to attack. They're moving in. Do we strike? Not yet. We'll give them just enough rope to hang themselves. The weapon's got to be in there. Come on, let's move. Now! A Daemonite hover ship. We've been set up. Take cover. This'll wash away some of our troubles. I got news for you, Voodoo. Our trouble's just begun. Come on, guys. It's time for some clever strategy. You're right. Think of one. Only one thing matters. We've got to stop the Daemonites from getting that weapon. Let's get them! Now! 
You're surrounded, Wildcats. You're finished. We haven't even started, Pike. Small, get us in there. Let's rock and roll. Hold on! Hold on? To what? Gotcha! It's only human to help a friend. I know, Warblade. I know. Hit them again! We'll send them to the very core of the Earth! What the blazes? The Coda! What? They're supposed to be on our side! Don't tell me, you idiot! Tell them! All right, Pike. It's just you and me. Correction! You, me, and my staff! Have you come to your senses? Perhaps I can't resist a good fight. That's where you belong, in the dirt. I don't have to take that from the likes of you, Wildcat. Go ahead. Give me all you've got. With pleasure. No! Beat it, you little pests. You fool! You destroyed the weapon! All is lost! We must flee! Ha! <laughs> Those jerks blew up their own weapon! And won't old Hellspawn be thrilled when he finds out? Warblade, find the computer files and destroy them. We don't want them building another one. Consider it done. You fought well. You spared my life. Now we're even. But this changes nothing between us. The Coda will fight for anyone who will meet our price. If the Daemonites are victorious, wealth will mean nothing. The real war is with Hellspont. And until the Coda joins that battle, I will consider them my enemy. I shall destroy you for this miserable failure. Still, the setback is only a minor one. The wild cats are unaware of the orb's presence on this planet. And without that knowledge, they are fighting in the dark. Destroying that weapon did the impossible, Jacob. The Yurgovians are asking their neighbors for peace. Ah, Sergei. There's nothing sweeter than a happy ending. Funny. You don't look happy, Marlo. Why did the Daemonites want that earthquake weapon? They could have done a lot of damage with it. No, it's got to be more than that. I know how Hellspont thinks. He's after something, something big. I can feel it in my bones. And we got to find out what it is before it's too late. You were right, Grifter. Humans are not that simple. Neither are you. You showed mercy to Artemis. And for a moment, it awakened her sense of honor. Yeah, but it didn't last. What if she sells the Coda out to Hellspawn again? If that day comes, there will be a reckoning between us. A reckoning that only one will survive. Wildcats Mission Log. Entry 12.7. Jacob Marlowe speaking. I've sent two of the team to investigate suspicious activity at Integer Electronics, a company which specializes in satellite technology. Hurry! We can't afford to be found here. Too late, Worm. They're Daemonite drones. Every one of them. Carabim pests! Eliminate them! <laughs> oh, if I can depossess them! to be a better way to do that. <gasps> Sell it! Heads up! No, Voodoo! Huh? I can handle... Uh, uh. I didn't mean to!
to grab her. I am surrounded by amateurs. <laughs> Place will be crawling with security guards. Retreat! Like Vene, don't look! Ah! Oh! Are you okay? No! In fact, I would have been better off handling them myself! Ugh. Providence, I am not happy. The mission was a failure. You said the drones would succeed. I said your plan would succeed. This event is but a stone in your path. You can stumble over it, or use it to build a new road. Oh, spare me the metaphors. If the fools had done their job, I'd have this world's most advanced satellites at my command. I could find the orb! You still can. All you need is someone who can gain entry to the satellite ground station. My fellow Americans, as your president, it is my proud... Uh, someone you might say with unimpeachable credentials. Beware the one whose eyes cannot be fooled. Ah, the Caribbean child, Voodoo, yes. Her powers are great, but her spirit is weak. We will take care of her. This is Highsight, the newest generation of U.S. spy satellites. So? That lab the Daemonites attacked is the one that designed the satellite's electronics. This would confirm your theory that Hellspont is searching for something, Jacob. The question is, what? I had hoped to interrogate the Daemonites, but they were allowed to escape. I was trying to help you. If you cannot defend yourself, you are of no use in battle. Sister's got a point, kid. If you can't carry your own weight, you're gonna get left behind. Well, fine. I'm used to being left behind. <laughs> Voodoo! Wait! Don't you know how important Voodoo is to our mission? Of course. And that is why she must improve her combat skills. Don't you guys realize? Voodoo's an orphan. Her whole life she's been rejected and abandoned. Nice going with that left behind crack. Hey, who knew? What? Hey! Well, next time, think before you mouth off. We're all she's got. <laughs> Sorry. I'd figured I'd find you here. Yeah. Madame Ordesky's school of dance. Be a star. This was the last place I felt at home. I should have known better. But you do have a home. What about the Wildcats? All they did was turn my life upside down. I don't belong there. I don't belong anywhere. I've never had a real family. And it looks like I never will. Hey, this is addressed to me. Ordesky's School of Dance. Attention Priscilla Catane. That's your old name. <gasps> Maul, I, I, I gotta go. Voodoo, wait. Voodoo? It's me. I... what are you doing? Like Zealot said, I am of no use. So I am out of here. And don't try to talk me out of it. Man, you are as stubborn as the day we met. You are already at the dance school. Trying to study for my high school equivalency at night. Oh, thanks. I was sure I was going to fail. You wouldn't let me, though. See these? You gave them to me after our first tutoring session. Hey, I couldn't afford to pay you. I can't believe you kept them. Pris, please don't go. Maul, I gotta do this. For me. See this letter? It's from a private eye in Florida. He was hired to find me by my parents. But I thought your parents... Abandoned me when I was a baby. I can never be sure. The orphanage burned down, so there weren't even any records. Promise you won't tell the others where I went. I'm going to find my real family, and I'm not letting anyone stop me. Not even you. Okay, Voodoo. I won't tell. Thanks. Good luck, pal. I hope you find what you're looking for.
Jacob. I am sensing elevated blood pressure. Are you upset? The wild cats are acting like brats. I can't figure out what Hellspont's up to, and I didn't sleep. Why should I be upset? Perhaps because Voodoo has left headquarters without permission. <coughs> what? Or because I am now registering strong Daemonite energy readings near the UN Plaza. <coughs> Any other cheerful news you want to share? Yes. The President of the United States is scheduled to give a speech this morning at the UN. Great Scott! What's with the wake-up call? And where's Voodoo? I'd like to know that myself. Void, get us to the UN, now. Without Voodoo to ID the Bug Boys, this will not be easy. Here comes the President. There. Are those the drones? Yeah. Unless there's an Undertaker's convention in town. They see us. Begin diversion. What in the blue blazes? Who are they? Don't fire. We're here to protect. Sort it out later. Fire! I don't think they're listening. Maul, clean up those Daemonites. Just call me the Trash Man. This is Special Agent Higgins. The President is under attack. Repeat, the President is... Hold your fire, Ritter. They're running. Let's get them. That may not be so easy. Shouldn't this be us leaving? Good point. Going down. What was that all about? I've got a feeling this whole thing was a diversion. You mean there were other Daemonites in the area? I'd stake my circuits on it. But the only way we'd know for sure is if Voodoo had been with us. Okay, Maul. Where is she? Sorry, Spartan. It's personal. I promised I wouldn't tell. Look, Maul. Promise or no promise, we need Voodoo back, and fast. Oh, Agent Higgins, that was excellent work today at the UN. Thank you, sir. But I have to warn you that you are about to be attacked again. Uh, uh, are you sure? Positive. What are you... Huh? No! No! What <laughs> Okay, girl, think. What are you gonna say to them? Hi, I'm the daughter you deserted? What if they don't want me? We don't take too kindly to strangers. Put them down, you freak! Now! <laughs> well now, fellas. When it comes to strange, you ain't seen nothing yet. What are you doing here? Well, nice to see you too. You promised you wouldn't tell the Wildcats where I went. Then again, I never promised I wouldn't follow you. I'm not coming back until I sort this out and find my parents. So? Where are they? Not too far from here. And they can't wait to see you. Are you Orson Kane? Private Eye. Finder of lost souls. You ready to go? Pris, do you think you can trust this guy? What if he's a- I can ID any Daemonite. Trust me, he's just a human being. Don't you get it, Maul? There's life outside the Wildcats, and this is my chance to find mine. I'm ready. Let's go, Mr. Kane. And don't follow me. Have a good trip home. Hmm. That's right, Sam. The victory.
vicious assault outside the UN was the work of the Wildcats, a mysterious covert action team. Are they criminals, sir? Or extremists? That information is classified, but I will say that they are a threat to humanity and that they must be stopped. That's all for today. Thank you. Can you say frame up? It's far worse. The only ones who know where the Wildcats are the Daemonites. Are you suggesting that the president has been possessed? Great Minerva! Warblade, see if you can open a channel to Maul. Spartan, Zealot, Grifter, check out the UN area for clues. Let's move! Wildcats? The intelligence boys don't have any record of... David, cancel my appointments. I want to fly to the High Sight Satellite Ground Station ASAP. But, sir... The Wildcats will stop at nothing. Activate Black Razor! But they're the most powerful anti-terrorist force we've got. Once I get to the High Sight Ground Station, no one must get in. Not until I hand over control of the satellites to Hellspawn. This is it? It doesn't look... Well, now, now, hush, girl. Your, uh, your mommy and daddy are waiting for you. Now, you hurry on in there, hmm? Mom? Dad? It's me. It's... Oh! <laughs> I'm only human, and these gents paid me real well. What about my parents? No, no. In a moment, all of that will mean nothing to you. No! No! Something's just not right here. Pal, you're a hard man to reach. Where's Voodoo? I don't think I can say. Blast it, Maul! The Daemonites have got to the president! You're sure? That's why we need Voodoo here! To find out! Do you know where to find her? No. But I know where to start looking. Maul out. Time I did some research myself. White House, Dave Sharp speaking. Listen, Dave, could I talk to the president? Personal matter. Sorry, sir, but the president's just about to leave. All of a sudden, we're flying off to... Anyway, can I say you called? No, no, don't even mention it. I'll, uh, try later. Go ahead, Spartan. We're in an alley near the UN. I'm getting a heat reading. It's a stasis pod. Inside a trash bin? So, while we were kept busy, another team was in here nailing someone close to the president. Jacob, has Maul located Voodoo? He's working on it, I hope. Which way to the town records? Th that computer! In the corner! Man, is this thing an antique. Warblade would bust a gut. Those filthy, lying monsters. <laughs> All right, you bug-loving, double-crossing stooge! Where's Voodoo? Oh, put me down! <laughs> Looking for me? Carabim fool! Uh. Uh. What'd you do to Voodoo? The life form called Voodoo had no idea of her telekinetic potential. Now I have unleashed it in all its lethal glory. So it looks like Hellspawn's sending another drone to finish what he started at that lab. Come on. Hellspawn possessed the President of the United States just to blow up a ground station? It's not that kind of sabotage. He's searching for something, and he needs the satellites to find it. Hey, nobody's gonna frisk the Commander-in-Chief. The President hands Hellspawn the satellite system, and no one will know until it's too late. <laughs> Why do you not attack me, Oaf? Has your fear so paralyzed you? Uh. <coughs> what 
will I do? The only one who can depossess Voodoo is Voodoo. Voodoo, listen to me. Silence, Carabim. You cannot reach her. My control is total. Remember these, Pris. They're the flowers you gave me. I want my friend back. All the Wildcats want you back. Mom? No! Ah! Impossible! Nobody can depossess themselves! Well, just call me nobody. Can't breathe. Must escape. You did good, Pris. Wh what about my parents? I'll bring you to them. But first, the Wildcats need us. Is Black Razor ready, Captain? Ready for anything, Mr. President. That's very reassuring. Hey! What the <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. President? Uh, yes, yes, I'm fine. This must be the work of those subversive wildcats. No sweat, sir. We'll stop them. Okay, we have to stop the President before he takes over the satellites. Boy, fly the Merv away by remote. We're under attack. Can you get it started? If it's got a motor and tires, I can hotwire it. These guys are good. Uh-oh. That's a black razor. You know these guys? Let's just say we crossed paths. Come on, cats. Move aside, human. Non-lethal force only. These men don't know whose side we're on. Hey, I'm not even sure I know. There. A small improvement courtesy of Lloyd Hellspond. Mr. President, the Wildcats are attacking. Annihilate them. I mean, do something. Obstruction team, move in. What form of trickery is this? I can't cut this many! Wildcats, pull out! Voodoo, I am glad to see you. I'm glad to be here. Well, what are we sitting around for? Success! <laughs> Too late, Wildcats! Hellspawn controls the satellite system. Not for long. <laughs> This could take time. We don't have time. <laughs> what? Bad move. That circuit board must have been set to self-destruct if anyone messed with it. Uh-oh. Maul, catch! Spartan, give me some sky. I am registering a massive explosion at the satellite ground station. Enough sitting on the sidelines. Void, get me there. Now! What is that thing? Jacob Marlowe? He knows the president? Campaign contributor. Very big. The circuit board so destructed. Why did you not foresee this spellbinder? Patience, Hellspont. Eventually, you will find what you seek. But when, Providence? When? This is what I found when I went to the library. I'm sorry, Pris. Did the Daemonites do this? You were just a baby when your parents took you sailing. The boat hit a reef and sank. When the Coast Guard found you, you'd been tied to the mast in a blanket above the waterline. Your parents didn't make it. So they died, saving my life. 
The Daemonites just used a bit of the truth to lure you into a trap. Forgive me for having been so rough on you before. You are truly one of us. Sorry I ran out on you. Now I know you are all my family. Then let's go home. You would have been proud of her. Wildcat's mission log, 16.5. If a man's home is his castle, then a man's company is his kingdom. And Halo Enterprises seems to have barbarians at the gate. Ugly ones, too. The optics lab. That's where the lens is. Move it! Detected. No kidding. Let's shred them, Wildcats. Shredding's a specialty of mine. Damage. You'll pay for that, Coda Witch. Do not make threats for which you have neither the stomach nor the taste. That's more like it. Mission terminated. Abort. Abort. I hear that. What did you think they were after? Whatever it was, they didn't get it. Grifter will be sorry he missed the action. Yeah, where is the G-Man anyway? He has gone to greet an old friend, he hopes. It's midnight. Technically, he's a free man now. But it's not our policy to release any prisoner we're holding until morning. You weren't holding him, he was just doing his time. You seem pretty confident. I trained him myself. He could have left whenever he wanted. Not a chance. That prison is equipped with Halo Security's best equipment. <laughs> Care to back that statement with, say, 50 clams? 50? How about five? Wimp. All right, 50 then. But there is no way. Gentlemen, real sorry to have kept you waiting. All right, Mr. Lonely, you're a free man now. Try to stay that way. No problem, Warden. Lonely's gonna be helping my good buddy Mr. Marlowe here improve his security systems. Right, money bags? By the way, pay up. Welcome to the straight and narrow, kid. Ready to go legit? Been ready for two years, Cole. Good to see you. I must be out of my mind, hiring con men and crooks. Next thing you know, I have a Daemonite on a payroll. I am running out of patience, Duckwell. How dare the Troika bungle a simple robbery? It was the Wildcats, Lord Hillspont. We cannot make a move against Halo Enterprises without their knowledge. 
Perhaps we should obtain the lens elsewhere. No! Only Halo makes the X-ray lens I need to find the orb. And with it, regain my dominion of the galaxy. Fortunately, I have a plan to completely neutralize Halo security. Whoa! A Halo System 8? Top of the line! Yep, but remember what I taught you. A drop of graphite on the friction wheel and... The scan motor skids to a halt. Uh, that was the System 7, Cole. The System 8 has a toothed wheel. Hey, I did what you said. Used the time in prison to study. Proud of you, kid. Makes you the right man for the job. Uh, Cole? I just got one question. Uh, you know, back when we were pulling jobs together, you always said the only thing that mattered was the money. What changed your mind? I found something that mattered even more, kid. I'd like you to meet him now. The Wildcats. Folks, I'd like you to meet Lonely. He and I robbed a lot of places together. He did time that I probably should have done myself. But he's going straight now, like me. And he's gonna help us improve our security systems. Mr. Lonely, the Grifter has proven himself to be an able member of the Wildcats team. Because of his recommendation, we are giving you a chance. Right. But one chance is all you get. Understand? That's all I ask, sir. Good. Then step into my office. We got things to discuss. You are certain this is wise? The man was a criminal. So was I, remember? Yes, but... Hey, you and the Wildcat, you gave me a second chance. I just figure it's time I did the same for somebody else. So... You're the expert. You tell me. How do we revamp Halo security? Well, sir, like I demonstrated at the prison, use an expert such as myself to find the weak spots. You mean stage a break-in at my own company? Exactly, sir. I'll try to bypass security and determine the weak spots. Have you had any problems lately? Funny you should mention that. Had a security breach just the other night at Halo Optical. Ah. Then perhaps we should start there. Sounds good. We'll do it tomorrow night. <laughs> Lord Hellspot. Ah, uh, Darkwell. I, I hope, hope for your sake, sake you bring good news. I do indeed, Lord Hellspot. A security test is scheduled for tomorrow night at Halo Optical. Excellent. Excellent. Then as soon as the security systems have been bypassed, Yes, Lord. The X-ray lens will be ours for the taking. And with it, the orb. And thus, the galaxy will soon be mine. <laughs> Have a seat, Grifter. Need to talk to you. Sure. Hey, I hear you're gonna let Lonely stage a test at Halo Optical. That's great. If the security system has some weak points, the kid'll find him. No sweat. That's kind of what concerns me, Grifter. What do you mean? It's your friend Lonely. When he was in here yesterday, he was wearing a Damonite bug. Void spotted him. Now wait just a minute. Lonely straight. Calm down. You know he is. Heck, he could have busted out of prison long ago, but he wanted to do his time. I said, calm down! I'm not accusing Lonely of anything. That's a Damonite transmitter dart. Could have been fired from anywhere. From its location on his clothing, it is doubtful that Lonely even knew of its presence. But it does mean that old Smoke Skull knows about our planned security test. Then we'll have to cancel. No. Better we go ahead with it. It's our chance to catch Hellspawn off guard, but we'll take precautions. The Daemonites are sure to attack once the system's been disarmed. Any idea of Hellspawn's objective in the raid? Yeah, this. It's an X-ray lens. Halo Optical's the only place that makes them. Gotta be what he's after. Records of recent Daemonite robberies would indicate that they are constructing a sophisticated satellite. With the X-ray lens in place, Hellspawn could conceivably scan several miles below the Earth's surface. So he's looking for something buried. What? That we don't know. But it's a sure bet we don't want him to find it. 
Spartan, assemble the rest of the team inside Halo Optical tonight. Tell them to be ready for anything. As for the rest of you, this conversation was confidential. Understand? Yeah, all too well. He is angry. And I don't blame him. But right now, we're doing what we gotta do. Which reminds me, there's something else I want you to take care of. Lord Hellspont, this is Dogwell. We are approaching Halo Optical now. Hold your position, fool. But make ready. We attack the moment the security systems are deactivated. The rest of the Wildcats will not know of our raid until it is too late for them to respond. There she is, kid. Strut your stuff. You and me got a lot to prove to a few people. What do you mean? Never mind. Just make me proud. Sensors along the top can't go over. Take too long to go under. And the alarm will sound if we cut through. So we don't cut. We just bend them a little. Good call, kid. I'll have Marlo put sensors on the bars from now on. Put them in the ground, too. Or better yet, landmines. For real security. You take this mighty serious. While I was in prison, I designed the perfect system. Nothing could get through. Love to see the plans. I, uh, gave them to somebody. Let's go. Get ready, Troika. Just a few more moments. Security box should have an alarm. Or better yet, a booby trap. Don't think Marlo'd go for that. Thought you were tough guys. There, security system deactivated. Now, attack, attack! Whoa! Get to cover! Oh! Oh yeah! While the cats are away, the Troika will play. That's where you're wrong, Daemonite scum. Let's roar, Wildcats! Hammer them! We gotta get that lens! Look out! What's going on? What are the Wildcats doing here? I'll explain later, kid. Right now, let's get you to safety. Let's make sure they don't find it. Smart thinking, kid. Now let's bail. Let's finish it, cats. Duckwell, <laughs> pull us out. Looks like the party's over for tonight. But you did good, kid. Kid? Party's over for you anyway. No! Kid, no! Don't do this! You used to be the best, Cole. You were my hero. But let's face it, being a good guy has made you soft. Kid! End of the road, Cole. Sorry. No! Man, he's down! <gasps> Is he all right? He will live. Oh, glad you're so blasted sure. Tell us what happened, Grifter. 
It's lonely. He got the lens. The Daemonites! Those blasted bug faces must have possessed him! We saw him taken aboard the hover ship. It would appear he went willingly. I... I got a good look at him, Grifter. He wasn't possessed. I'm sorry. No. No, not lonely. He was my friend. I trusted him. We've got to get him back. No one who works for the Daemonites stays unpossessed for long. Yeah. Besides, they got the lens. Not for long. We already called for Merv. Yeah! Talk about fast service! Let's just hope it's fast enough. They are headed for that missile base, directly ahead. That place? It was abandoned years ago. Not anymore. Now it looks like it's crawling with Daemonites. That missile's ready to launch. I got a bad feeling about this. Whoa! Hang on. Can't get through. We'd be sliced and diced. Strange, this is not a standard Daemonite defense. Lonely. He said he designed the perfect security system. He must have given the design to Hellspot. He said nothing could get through. Think he was right? Only one way to find out. Let's roar! Oh! Spartan! Pulsed microwaves. Jamming my cybernetics. I'll get you. Can't. Get free! I'll handle it. Demonite scum! For that you shall pay! Wait! <laughs> Tried to tell you, those electrodes were charged! Rifter, forget us! Get going! You've got to get lonely! And that lens! If anyone can get through that system, you can! All right, but I'll be back! Let's see. Electrified fence. Weapons on the top. Landmines outside. Real good, lonely boy. But not good enough. Oh, yeah. The original. And still the best. There. Lens delivered as promised. You got my payoff? Oh, yes and your reward will be most fulfilling. Don't move, Dockwell. I'd vape you right now, but that body you're in might have been somebody decent. But that won't stop me if you make a move. Lonely, grab that lens and come on. We're taking it back. What? And we'll all pretend this never happened, right? Nah, you blew it, kid. You're going back to prison. But at least you'll do it with your soul intact. You can start over someday, believe me. It's more than you'd get from these body-snatching bug faces. Gee, Cole, don't know how I can pass up such a generous offer, but I think I will. What's wrong with you, kid? You didn't know about the transmitter bug. <laughs> I'll give it up, Cole. I did my time because they paid me to do it. They knew you'd try to recruit me, and I knew about the bug. But I figured you might detect it, so I had it planted in a way that would keep me looking innocent. Like I said, Cole, you're getting soft. I ran this whole grift right under your nose, grifter, and you didn't even see it. Kid, please. This is your last chance. No, grifter. I'm afraid it's your last chance. What? Hey! <laughs> what? What is this? Let him go! This wasn't part of the deal! The deal is over, Mr. Lonely. No! No! Kid! Kid! Lonely! No! No! Lonely! Fire the missile!
<laughs> Lonely. Oh. Security system deactivated. Yuck. Oh. Feel like I've been stuck under a theater seat for three days. Not one of our best nights, cats. Yeah. Hellspont got the lens. Oh, I wouldn't say that. What? Now how the heck did you work that? Hey, when I figured out old Chimney Top was after this gizmo, I wasn't just gonna leave it lying around. Head Void whip up a fake. Made from transparent C7. Plastic explosive? Yep. Gonna be real interesting when Hellspont pumps a beam through that, baby. At last. My long-awaited goal is near at hand. Activate the scanning beam. Now! What? No! No! Bless you, Marlo! Marlo told me about the switch. The man's a conniving, sneaky, underhanded scoundrel. I like that. He is fond of you as well. It saddens him to see you grieve. <sighs> Lonely was my friend. When the chips were down, he gave his life for mine. Why couldn't he just have wised up a little earlier? You cannot force people to do the right thing. You can only offer them the opportunity and hope that they take it. <sighs> we'll beat him someday, Lonely. And maybe then, you'll get another chance. Caribbean distress signal near the North Pole, and it's a safe bet that if we detected it, so did the Daemonites. Target sighted, Lord Hellspont. It is, as you predicted, a Caribbean stasis pod. Then seize it, and quickly, that pod may contain useful Caribbean technology or artifacts. At once, Lord Hellspunt. Void was right. It's a stasis pod, and it's from our ancient Caravan ship. Why would the Daemonites want that old piece of space junk? Perhaps we should inquire. In a language they would understand, of course. Let's roar, Wildcats! The Wildcats! Blast! They will regret this interference. Corellion! Destroy them at once, Lord Hellspunt! Man, I knew I should have gone for the insurance rider. Zealot and Grifter are down! Claws out, cats. We're going in. Now you're talking my language. The pod! Keep it away from the pod! Look out! Lord Hellspont! The 
oil tanks! If that flame reaches them, this whole place will go up. I've got to stop it. Submerge! Submerge! All speed! You shall not escape me, Hellspot! It's going up. Hustle, people! Come on, cats! It has been a long time, Demonite. But victory will be mine. It is my destiny. Majestic, hurry! Jacob Marlowe, permit me to introduce Majestic, commander of our Carabin battle cruiser, before it crashed to Earth. Pleased to meet you. Don't sweat it. Sorry to hear about the crash, by the way. It was my fault, I'm afraid. I was at the helm when we finally caught up to the Daemonites, not far from this planet. We damaged their engines, but our weapons were useless. We have the Daemonites now. Ram them full speed, Mr. Hadrian. Sir, such a maneuver could damage our ship beyond repair. The Daemonite ship is crippled. Should we not demand their surrender? No quarter, Mr. Hadrian. Finish them now. But... That's all I remember. The next thing I knew, we had crashed on Earth. For thousands of years, I have feared that my hesitation cost the Caribbean forces their greatest commander. But I am relieved to see you are alive, sir. As am I. Blessed. Locked. And our lasers will not penetrate Caribbean armor plate. Only a large gem grade diamond drill could cut through this part. Then get one. Dig off a ship immediately. Some of the circuitry contained in this part could restore the beam of the flight. I'm on my way, Lord Hellspont. Shall I leave the part with you? No. I can still smell the stench of its Caribbean makers. Take it to our storage facility and open it there. Yes, Lord. So, Majestic, my most hated enemy, you have returned. And just as I am about to unearth the ancient puzzle which tells the prophecy of the orb, but neither you nor the Wildcats will stop me from obtaining that orb, and with it, the power to crush the entire galaxy beneath the fist of Daemonite rule. <laughs> we're building anyway. You got me, but Majestic says it'll stop the Daemonites for good. And that we must do, and quickly, for the Daemonites are after the orb. By Hecate, we should have known. Excuse me? What orb? Did I miss something here? The orb is a mystical object. Its power is beyond your comprehension. Well, thanks a lot. Zealot speaks truth. The orb is a source of ultimate power. 20,000 years ago, the elders of the galaxy decided to conceal it for safety's sake on an unknown, insignificant planet. A planet called Earth. So that's what old Flame Face is looking for. Yes, but my Vortex device will stop them permanently. I can substitute most of the original components using the Earthling's rather primitive technology. However, we must still locate my quantum energy module, which was lost in the crash. According to my files, the module was recovered by the Air Force. It is currently being studied at a secret research facility in Maryland. Then that is where we must go. Hold on a minute, team. Newsflash. I just got word that the Daemonites have attacked a major diamond exchange in Holland. Hmm. They're after diamonds. Let's take a look. They have attacked one of the biggest suppliers in the world, but I don't think it's for cash. They appear to be looking for a large diamond, 
One too large to sell easily. The pod. What? The Daemonites are attempting to open the stasis pod. They would need a large diamond to drill through it. Where's the stasis pod now? In Canada, the Daemonites have placed it in a guarded storage facility. With the circuitry in that pod, the Daemonites could restore the behemoth to spaceflight. They could locate the orb easily. We must prevent them from opening it. Spartan, you and the other Wildcats travel to Holland. Prevent them from obtaining a suitable diamond. Ah, uh, sir. Wouldn't it be simpler to... Spartan! Yes, sir. We'll leave immediately. That's better. Zealot, you'll come with me. We still need to secure my quantum energy module. and Zealot are in Maryland. The others are in Holland. Events are proceeding as scheduled. I wonder. What do you mean? How did Majestic get into that stasis pod in the first place? You were the ship's computer. You should know. I'm sorry. All records of the crash are missing. They must have been damaged. Sure. Why did Majestic send the whole team off to stop the bug faces from getting a diamond that'll open the pod? When it would have been much easier just to go get the pot itself. That's what Spartan was going to suggest. An error. I don't think so. Not if Majestic's as good as you say. No, there's something in that pod he doesn't want us to find. And color me curious, but I think I'm gonna go see what it is. What the? Whoa. Now, boys, I'm doing this for your own good. Here you go. Here's a million bucks. Leave the country. Change your names. And never come back. Good. Should keep away from Hell's Pond's vengeance. Now, let's see what's in that pod. The quantum energy module is in there. Then let us go get it. Wait! Hey! This is a restricted area! Whoa! Majestic, calm yourself. The way of the warrior does not include harming the innocent. They are mere humans. Obtaining the module is all that matters. I will not permit this. You cannot stop it. Whoa! It is my destiny. We got what we came for! Entering vehicular mode. Let's lower the boom on them. Now, cats, pounce and pound them. Spartan here. Spartan? We're receiving an emergency signal from Zealot in Maryland. We gotta send in the cats. But the Troika, they have the diamond. That's not a major concern right now. Zealot is. So move it, mister. You got it. Wildcats, fall back. What? Yeah, how about finishing this job first? I mean now. Zealot needs us. Let's go! Code Red, run! Ah, the quantum energy module. Victory will soon be mine! Sell it! 
She's okay, just stunned. What about Majestic? That answer your question? <laughs> he hit the power core! It's going to blow! This whole place is about to go sky high! We have to get those people to safety! No, there is no time. Only one way to ship this package. Hand delivery! a code word to open. The possibilities are almost infinite. Then let's trim them down a little. Let's say that a great military leader was to defeat the Daemonites. Let's further say he then got a hold of this orb. And just for the sake of argument, let's say he used that orb to conquer and rule the whole darn galaxy. Is there a caribou word for a guy like that? Why? Why, yes. There is such a legendary figure. He is called Kalim, the Ultimate One. But surely you do not think the Commander Majestic believes himself to be... Oh! That was an explosion in the building. Look, it's Majestic, and he's taken the Vortex device. If he's found the Quantum Energy Module, we're done for. Kalim. Wildcat alert. Wildcats. You have to stop Majestic before it's too late! At last, the first step of my destiny is almost complete. Once this gate is opened, anything in its presence will be sucked into the vortex. All I need now is to get Hellspawn close enough to send him through. Majestic may have found it, or it may be a trick, but we cannot risk him learning to use the orb against us. Prepare two other ships. Ah, as I predicted, the Daemonites are on their way. Time to activate the Vortex. <laughs> Innocent people. What? The Wildcats? The Vortex is too dangerous, Majestic. Shut it down. No, this is my destiny. To destroy the Daemonites. And after the Daemonites, what? Find the orb. It would be my right. The orb was hidden from the Daemonites. If I destroy them, its power should be mine. And the galaxy, mine. It is my right. Leave. That is an order. No! You refuse. You refuse the direct order of a superior officer! I am sorry, sir, but it is my considered opinion that you are no longer fit to command. Under Article 5 of the Caribbean Military Code, I am relieving you of your position. That is treason, mister! I am ordering you to shut down this device and return to headquarters for medical treatment. Now! I don't need medical treatment, but you will! Stop! <laughs> Fools! Your pitiful weapons are no match for me! Ah! And now, for the Daemonites! As I suspected, 
It is a trap. A cursing caramel. Pull back. Pull back. <laughs> Success. Success. The Daemonites are destroyed. The orb and the galaxy are mine by rights. <laughs> that was most satisfactory. Hell, get us out of here. What about the wild cats, Lord Hellspunt? Leave them to the vortex. As for us, the old. Stop! Vortex! This was what Majestic was hiding in the pod. It's a section of the ship's computer memory bank. Got something on it you might find interesting. We have the Daemonites now. Ram them full speed, Mr. Hadrian. Sir, such a maneuver could damage our ship beyond repair. The Daemonite ship is crippled. Should we not demand their surrender? No quarter, Mr. Hadrian. Finish them now. But... Ram them! It is my destiny! Red alert, red alert. Damage critical. As you can see, Spartan, you didn't cause the crash. Majestic did. Then he took the ship's recording and escaped in the stasis pod. Yes. It would have been nice to have known that thousands of years ago. Nonetheless, you did what you thought was right. This is what makes you a good leader. Not to mention you can get blown in half and still look fresh as a daisy the next day. I owe it all to clean living. But one thing worries me. That orb. Yeah. We knew Hellspont was after something major. But we didn't know it was this major. The orb is all-powerful. And power Let's face it, Wildcats. We may be in for the fight of our lives. Wildcats mission log. Entry 8.6. Void has detected extensive Daemonite activity near the Middle Eastern city of Mildena. The Wildcats have been dispatched to investigate. Their instructions are to remain inconspicuous completely subtle. And if there's one thing the Wildcats are noted for... Hold it, right there! It's their subtlety. Ah, he is indeed a Daemonite drone. Observe the marker. Love the way you check for these little details after you knock them cold. A gun is a gun. The true warrior does not hesitate. Doors locked. Won't be long. Easy, hotshot. Let's try the delicate touch first. Once a hacker, always a hacker. Not bad. Could have used you on a job or two a couple years back. Move it! Get those drills loaded! It's Pike. It would appear the Daemonites are stealing digging equipment. They must be working underground. No wonder Void couldn't pinpoint their position. Do we take him? No. This is but a minor theft. We must follow them to their main base of operation. And then we shred them. Correct. Activating cloaking mode. Now. 
Zealot and the others be gone? They're due to check in in four hours. Better grab some shut-eye. Maul. Yeah? You've got first watch. Keep an eye peeled. Void's readings were hazy. The Daemonites could be anywhere. I'll be watching. Good. I understand you have some... memories of this place. No. Nothing important. All right. You'll be relieved by Voodoo at 0400. Nothing important at all. Dad! Dad! I found something! Look! What is it? Jeremy! Look out! Uh, Dad! Jeremy! Oh! The pit! It's collapsing! Hazim! Quickly! Pull him up! Pull him up! Hurry! Jeremy, are you all right? J just a scratch. Dad, you saved me. But the, the dig. Ah. Son, you're all that matters. You're my pride, my joy, my hopes and dreams. What? What? No. What's happening to me? Dad! Ah, you're not my son. Dad. Get away! Dad. Get away! Dad. Dad. Huh? Uh, what? Rise and shine, Chunk Style. If Spartan knew you'd fallen asleep on guard duty, he'd tear your head off. Oh, uh, he can have it. Maul, you having nightmares again? Nah, it's nothing. Really? Maul, look at me. It's the V, babe, remember? You can't hide anything from me. Now talk. Oh. My dad again. I guess it's the area. He used to work here. Saved my life once. Doesn't sound like such a bad dream to me. You don't understand. He was more than my dad. He was my hero. I wanted to be just like him. Then I dream he sees me. Like I am now. Oh, Maul. You never told him? How could I? The man was a god to me. I can't let him know I turned into this. Maul. Heads up, you two! Zella just signaled. They found the Daemonites, and they're on the move. Coming! Let's move, Maul. Hustle up! On my way. Join the Wildcats and see the world. <coughs> Didn't realize I was gonna be seeing it so up close and personal. The way of the warrior is not an easy one. <coughs> now she tells me. Zealot's signal has stopped moving. They're inside. Do we attack? Not yet. Don't want to tip their hand. Wait for a sign. How will we know it? I get the feeling there won't be much doubt. Uh, uh, uh. Do not dare. <laughs> Intruders! Eliminate them! Now! Wait! What? There! It's my father. He's working for the Daemonites! Oh, 
can't be. Voodoo, he's possessed, right? Finish it! Hurry! Ah, uh, no. Sorry, Maul. He's clear. No. No, not my father. He can't be working for those blasted bug faces. I won't let him! Maul! Your temper! Oh, no. Get up! You have to stop them! Let us get you to safety, Professor. You said I'd be safe here! A minor setback. If you'll just... What's that? A slightly larger setback. No! 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 What's with Mo? He's gotten too big. He's out of control. Look out! Spartan. It is not your place. What happens between them is for them alone to decide. Listen, I don't know who you costume freaks are, but I want you out of here immediately. Do you understand? This is a peaceful scientific expedition. Oh, yeah. Real peaceful. My sponsors felt the dig might be subject to attack. Obviously, their only error was to be under-equipped. Whatever you're stealing, please, take it and go. I'm on the verge of an important archaeological discovery here. Wait! These sponsors, did they call themselves Daemonites? Names are of no concern to me. All that matters is my work. Now, please leave. I'm afraid not, Professor. Whatever you're looking for, we cannot allow it to fall into Daemonite hands. Like it or not, the Wildcats just became your new assistants. Maul, you have to tell him. I can't. You saw the way he looked at me. To him, I'm a monster. Besides, he's not the dad I knew. That man was a caring person. He would never let his work become his life. Now he seems so cold, so bitter. All that matters is his work. You there, the big one. Make yourself useful and clear this debris. Move it! <laughs> Careful, you lummox. That's a pre-Etruscan column. Uh, Phoenician. What? Nothing. I heard what you said. And you're right. Who taught you archaeology? The best. Oh? And just who was that? Sorry. Don't know him anymore myself. So, how's it going down there? Fine. Of course, you're a major help. Hey, if I'd wanted to work hard, I wouldn't have turned to crime. Oh, yeah? Whoa! <laughs> easy on the ceramics voodoo. <sighs> Nothing. I could have sworn. Uh, Professor, I think I found something here. What? Impossible. Let me see. You're right. The support structure here reveals there was a hidden chamber. You've got an excellent eye for archaeology, my purple-skinned friend. Almost as good as someone else I once knew. As a matter of fact, you remind me of him somehow. 
something about you. What? Nothing. An old pain. You wouldn't understand. I might. You? What do you know of pain? Have you ever lost a son? No, but... <sighs> no. Please, I apologize. My son vanished years ago. No trace. The anguish almost killed me. All that saved me was my work. Nothing else matters. There is nothing else for me to live for, right? Uh... Actually, there's something maybe you ought to know. I found it! What? I mean, we found it. The tablet. The tablet that tells the location of the ancient puzzle. That's great. Let me see. Look, right here. It says, the ancient puzzle is located... What? It's the Demonites. They're attacking. Time to roar, Wildcats! <laughs> even for the time you saved me in Mil Dana oh. Mil Dana but that was that was look out get up we've got to get out of here come on get up get up you're in great danger oh, Jeremy hi dad Sorry, I didn't write. Uh, Jeremy! Keep me coming! Oh, yeah! Just make sure the check's clear! Please, Jeremy! Get up! Give it up, Professor. Just grab the tablet, you're coming with us. That's what you think! endanger the professor. this place, Professor? Naturally. I conducted a dig here about ten years ago with my son. After an accident, we abandoned the dig. We found nothing. According to this, you quit just a little too soon. Yeah! As you see. What is it? 
a key to the greatest power in the universe. A power that will permit the Daemonites to rule this world and the entire galaxy. <gasps> what? Part of it's missing! We need to find that piece, Professor. Looks like you've got a job to do. No good. The Daemonites must be digging again. Void can't get a fix. Mo, you saw the tablet, right? Yeah, but it was written in Sanskrit. I used to know it when I was Jeremy. You can remember, Maul. I know you can. I'm trying. It said... Yeah. I remember. I know where they are. I told you to find that missing piece! No! I will never help you! You're not going to have much choice, Professor. don't understand. How did it happen? What have you become? A hero. See, there were these good aliens called Caribum, and they crashed on Earth a long time ago, and, well, it's a long story. Save it. As long as you're fighting those evil creatures, that's good enough for me, my son. We've got the ancient puzzle, but there's a key piece missing. Not for long. I know exactly where it is. I dropped it in here ten years ago, just before the cave-in. Here you go, Dad. The missing piece. There! What's it say, Professor? It says that something called the Orb is hidden in the Temple of Themescria. The Temple of Themescria? It's a legend, like Atlantis. No one knows where it is. Huh, a lot of good that does us. And that the orb can only be controlled by she who can see evil within. Now wait a minute, is this like a prophecy or something? Hmm. But to unlock the orb requires the code of threes. Thrice three, and again thrice three, creates four. Hmm. It's a riddle. Could mean anything. Hey! Daemonized dogs, they attack again! They're taking the ancient puzzle! Rip your eyes up. <laughs> Blasted bug faces. You okay, Spartan? Just shorted my circuits a second. But now the Daemonites have the information too. Guess this means the race for the orb is really gonna heat up now. We must prevent them from obtaining it first. The freedom of the galaxy depends on it. You'll stop them, won't you, son? You got it, Dad. And after that, I'm coming home. I promise. Ha 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 